Hey guys, it's me, Evelyn, here on Ironic X Loser. I was requested by um, uh, Aisha Michelson, I believe. Sorry for mispronouncing your name. Um, to do colorings for Sony Vegas Movie Studio, which is a program I have, but she wanted colorings that some other uh, videos have already made. And so I just reincorporated the colorings for Vegas Movie Studio. Um, so no credits go to me, credits go to the original creators of these colorings. Links to each creator will be in the description box with the download link to these colorings for Vegas Movie Studio. Um, so let's get started. So the first coloring is by Snapshot Tutorials, coloring number 192. It is for Vampire Diaries. Um, I don't download, I don't vid Vampire Diaries, therefore I didn't download the video to this, but I do have a high quality screen cap that I did use. So when you download the zip file, that contains the coloring to this one. You're going to get the um, Vegas Movie Studio file, which is a VF file, and you're going to go to Project and Open. And right here it's going to be called Remade Vegas Movie Studio 1. I'm going to actually um, leave them the way they're named, but in the description box of, or in the video box, you'll know who made these colorings. This comes from Snapshot Tutorials. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open it. And I'm going to say no to that. And you're just going to get this here, which is basically just the info of the user. We'll just snapshot tutorials, coloring number 192, and then remade slash requested Vegas Movie Studio version 11 by Ironic X Loser. So I'm going to show you guys the before and after. So this is the before of the coloring, and this is after. But I'm going to show you guys how it works. I'm just going to go ahead and drag in the actual image that I use, which is high quality. I will give you guys the high quality as well. I did not incorporate high quality in my previews. And they're just low quality. So, I, as you can see, I moved the high quality image onto the track with the coloring on it. And you're gonna click the green track FX here to open up the tracks. Now we have a lot of tracks here. So please bear with me. I'm just gonna drag this out so I can see most of them. I'm gonna move this up over here. So you're going to start off with a convolutional kernel, and I'm probably going to zoom in so you guys can see much more better when I um, fix this video or when I render it, but yeah, just bring it up. You're going to get row 1. Row 1 is row 1 um, this way here, so you're going to be um, negative 1.0, negative 2.0, negative 1.0. And then row 2 is negative 2.0, then 16.0, then negative 2.0. Row 3 is negative 1.0, negative 2.0, negative 1.0. And auto normalize is selected. Then you're going to go to brightness and contrast. And you're going to go ahead and have your brightness kind of set 0, negative 0 0.10. Contrast is negative 0 0.16. And then contrast center is 0 0.59. Then you're going to add color balance. Make sure midtones is selected. And you're going to have the red at 0, negative 0 0.0580. Um, mine has extra numbers for some reason. Um, green will be negative, well, not negative, it will be all zeros. And then blue will be 0 0.0580. You're going to add color curves, and then you have uh, show channels is unselected. And click red. And the red here, you can have, you're going to create a point in the center. So you're going to right click and create point so that you can get this point here. And you're going to give it a little bump up. Kind of play with the sliders here to achieve this identical look. And then here on the top one, you're going to pull the slider out to kind of give it this curve here. And then at the bottom, you're going to just drag the slider downwards to give it a sharp uh, line across the bottom of the curves grid here. Then you're going to go ahead to green. And you're going to go ahead and create a new point. Underneath its first starter point, again, you're going to right-click on the blink area, create point. And on this point, you're going to drag the slider out straight so that it's just almost a straight line here. And then you're going to do the same like we do with red, dragging the slider downwards to give it a sharp line on the bottom of the grid. Going to blue, you're going to go ahead and up here, usually your starter point will be up in the upper corner. You're going to right-click on that starter. And you're going to unlock. You're gonna, it's going to be selected, lock tangent. You want to click that unlock so you can drag it downwards. Then you're going to drag the slider to the far corner here. And then you're going to do the same with the bottom one, but you're going to kind of make it pull the slider upwards instead of like the other two, instead of downwards. And it's going to give this little curve, little, little like a small S that grows into a big you know, shift. Then we're going to add another color balance. Um, Midtone selected once again. You can have the first setting, um, which is red at 0 0.0580. Green will be all zeros, and then blue will be 
negative 0 0.089. Then we're going to go ahead and add a gradient map. You're going to go ahead and have 0 as a color, which will be black. Then you're going to bring the 1, which is usually around here in the middle. You're going to just slide it over to right under the O in Sony. And then have that color at nothing, so it's going to be transparent. And then you're going to have 2 as, as transparent as well. So the only one that's going to have color is the 0. Then we're at another brightness and contrast. Brightness at 0 0.10, contrast at 0 0.28, and contrast center at 0 0.44. Then you're going to add a color corrector. You're going to go with low first, and you're going to add the angle at 119.1. The magnitude will be 0 0.160. Going to midtones, you're going to have your angle at 104.0, and magnitude at 0 0.063. And then you can have highs at angle. 119.1 and magnitude at 0 0.160 and then the saturation here on the bottom you can change it to 0 0.750 the gamma will be 1.037 the gain will be 0 0.926 and the offset will be all zero and then you can add a sharpened image or sharpen to your image which we're going to just make it uh, a light sharpen which will be at 0 0.185 and you are done this is the coloring that was created by Snapshot Tutorials, um, coloring number 192. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now, I'm going to have download links, like I said earlier, for each coloring and each video box. So you're just going to download the pack. It's going to be available. You're going to get the high quality original image, plus the before and after a low quality image because I resized them, and the coloring file, which is going to be a VF file. And then to open those files, you're just going to go to Project and Open to open the coloring. Now, to save the coloring onto your Vegas um, Movie Studio, you're going to click the track here. And once you have your coloring open, you're going to click the plugin chain. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to want to save it in your filter packages. Mine's automatically is here, so I'm just going to leave it there. And once you have your coloring, you're going to see all the coloring up here in the upper bar. You're going to click Save As. And you're just going to you know, save it as a new package. Mine's is already saved here as SS1 Coloring 192. I recommend saving it as the username so you know who to credit when you use it. And then you're done. You're going to click OK. And then you're done. You can just cancel out. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I hope to have more for you guys soon. Bye.